Hi everyone, I am Marie and today I'm going to start quilting the blocks. The first block I'm going to start with is the one of January of course and I'm going to do straight stitching so with the regular foot um, you can also use the foot that you do the zigzag with that has like a bit of bigger opening if you like that's probably the one I'm going to use um, so we're going to just do straight stitching because it's a star so that's easy so we're going to start easy so we can get the feel of it and then we're going to go and do to do supreme motion so let's get started so there we are with the block um, this block is 16 I did the batting uh, I think about one inch larger and the backing also a little bit larger so you can see that and it's, it's more than an inch when you're finished but that is just to be sure a quilting uh, it shrinks and especially the batting so um, yeah so I'm going to um, I am going to use this glue, this 505, um, to hold my fabrics together. I don't want to use pins. If you want to use pins, by all means. Um, okay, we don't want hairs in there. Okay, not too much though. It's about the same size. Like that. And the batting, just the batting of your choice, of course. If you got, if you want, you can iron. Also, all right. So let's go to the machine and let's do this. All right, this is the block, and this is the foot I'll be using. Let me take this off. This is the quarter inch foot that I normally use for straight stitching with a quarter inch, of course. I use this one mostly for appliques and the quilting because I kind of see better where I'm going. So that's just my choice. Okay. 
Okay. Um, remember that in the middle, you have a lot of bulk. So be careful and just just um, go slowly. There is no, we don't have to uh, hurry about that. Okay, I'm going to start in the middle here. And with this foot, you can see this part here, that little tooth kind of. <laughs> Um, you can see here, this part, that have to be on top of the seam because that there is where the needle is, if you see. So if you keep that one on top of this, it's going to be straight, okay? So let's do that. Get that needle down. Be sure you have all that. Okay, let's do it. Then we're going down here and we can switch and go up here and then we go like this and so forth and this part i want to do later so we just go straight up here again and we start the other side or whatever um if we have to break thread we will but if we don't have to we will not okay so don't be afraid of cutting um, thread, okay? So let's do it. I actually have gloves for this, but they're just so dirty, like seriously. So I'm going to try to do it without. And my foot, is this down? Yeah. Okay, let's stop. Oh, see, bulk, bulk, bulk. Okay, first one is done. Not all in the ditch, but hey.
can also like try to push it apart and have some like that and that's one done isn't it fun it gets also puffy so fun And that is that first one. And at the back, that's what you see at the back. Oops. What I am thinking is to make from here go like that. And I don't know, count the stitches, the width that you want, and then go straight down to the point again. And, and again, until we have like that. Or we can make it like this. Maybe that's better. Yeah, let's do it like that. Here, and then we go, I don't know, an inch or so. But that, that that's not, like, so very important because... So, then we go down, and we go back in, and then we go back. We, we have to go up and down, so that's how it is. So... Let's start here because I did that one already. Okay. And let's say... Like that. And point... Use a fabric pencil or um, marker to do the lines. But I like um, the free the freedom of the quilting. 
Okay, so here we are going to go like over there, I think. And that's the corner. What do you think? So I'm gonna do all the corners and I'll be back. And um, I think I want to use the free motion um, foot because I need something that I can blend with all of them. So if it's like, I am thinking about loops like, you know, and when you put it together, that's going to blend better than if I do stripes or something like that and all of them differently, then the black is not going to um, blend the way that I want. So, all right. So, uh, now I'm going to do the last one the machine is giving me problems so i have to redo a few that so uh, but for now is behaving so i'm hoping that it's going to be all right my thread is just breaking every few stitches and so i did everything i could to help it and i hope that is fine now so fingers crossed and it is a little bit tricky because you don't have a lot here um to um to grab so just be careful and i hope you can see something all right let's do it <laughs> good so and now it seems like crazy because it's just like just one but when we do the other ones you know coming in here or then they all everything is going to blend and yeah so that's it all right, so I'm going to square it. All right, and that's the back. Okay. 
that's the back and I know that the black looks all kinds of wonky but um, when you have the other ones and you come in and you go because it's all free and all I don't know how you call it. it will be nice it doesn't have to be perfect and when the whole quilt is all together and you wash it it will be very beautiful so don't stress just have fun and I'll see you next time bye